brain reading, we try to detect from the brain signal uh, the mental content, uh, something somebody's thinking of or hearing or seeing. And uh, we do this uh, here in Nijmegen, we do this with music uh, because we think it's a very strong experience. You have a, we all have the experience of really being into music or having a song in our heads. Okay, so since music is very personal for everyone, we let people choose their own uh, songs they want to, to hear in the experiment. Um, so whether it's classical music or rap or rock or whatever, um, people choose what they like, what they respond to, uh, they have certain associations with. So first uh, they listen to the music in the, while wearing an EEG cap. And so the EEG picks up really tiny electrical signals uh, from the brain. And then um, while we've had a chance to get a look at that data, then we train a machine to see if it can recognize from the brain signal which song somebody is hearing. The fragments were all chosen such that um, it sounds still okay when you hear them repeatedly after another. Okay, so the, the task is that the computer has to figure out uh, what song uh, the participant is hearing. And uh, we do this by comparing the new incoming data to the data that's already stored. And then the, the output shows that uh, uh, shows the probability uh, with which the computer thinks it's a certain song, uh, as with the same with the sounds. So first you hear them all at the same time, um, equally loud, and um, when the computer is more sure that it's one over the rest, then, uh, um, then it will pick that song and amplify the volume. <laughs> So after a few repetitions of the music, the computer can actually reliably detect which song somebody is hearing. But music is a really good domain for this because of the, the temporal structure, which uh, uh, gives a really rich uh, brain signal and uh, also the fact that uh, many brain areas are involved in uh, processing music. Mm -hmm.